first to ratify an end. Outside protests provide continued pressure, first for countries to ratify and then stick to all they pledged. Fingers are pointing at China, one of the two worst CO2 emitters. It must change its ways. The legally binding document compels it to do so. And this is what it's... Oh. Okay, track picking up off the back of Michael Jacobs. Greenpeace is climate change's global policeman, and from them to cautious optimism. Outside protests provide continued pressure, first on countries to ratify and then stick to all they've pledged. Fingers point to the Gulf states, but China too, one of the world's fingers point to the Gulf states, but China too, one of the world's worst CO2 emitters. It must change its ways. The legally but Okay, picking up off the back of uh, Michael Jacobs. Greenpeace is climate change's global policeman, and from them to cautious optimism. Grab from uh, the Greenpeace man. Outside protests provide continued pressure, first on countries to ratify, and then stick to all they've pledged. Fingers point to the Gulf nations, but at China too one of the world's worst CO2 emitters. It must change its ways. The legally binding document compels it to. And this is what's at stake, the melting ice caps. This sort of thing must be slowed down. Globally, weather patterns are becoming far more freak. And it is it globally, weather patterns are becoming far more freak. And it is in places like this, our oh, bollocks. Jacobs. Greenpeace is climate changes. Greenpeace is climate changes global policeman, and from them to cautious optimism. Outside protests provide continued pressure, first on countries to ratify, and then stick to all they've pledged. Fingers point at. Fingers are pointing at the Gulf nations, but at China too, one of the world's worst CO2 emitters. It must change its ways. Fingers are pointing at America, the Gulf states, and at China too, one of the world's worst CO2 emitters. It must change its ways. The legally binding document compels it to do so. And this is what and this is what's at stake. The melting ice caps. This sort of thing must be slowed down. Globally, weather patterns are becoming far more freak. And it is places like this who feel it first and worst. The Pacific nation of Vanuatu suffered this devastating storm in January. Its Prime Minister showed us the impact from the air. Now, 11 months on, the same place is in trap. <laughs> Further to the west, deep in the Pacific, is Kiribati. Further to the west, deep in the Pacific, is Kiribati, already underwater. This really is the front time. Oh.